welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we have a new, very affordable, probably one of the most affordable Flieger, best quality Flieger watches you can get for your money, produced by Lake & Sons, a brand uh, that produces some products as well as watches. And I think it's a really interesting watch, especially for the price of about $130. And there's even a discount if you sign up for their email, I believe, on their website, which I will leave down in the description below. This is the box that comes in, nothing too fancy, but you are only paying $130, and you're getting an automatic Flieger, so let's get into the watch. But first, let's see what I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing a Flieger watch myself, the only Flieger left in my collection. Today I am wearing the Oceanica OP1. This is sold out and discontinued. This is a Flieger watch as well, running the Miyota 90S5, the high beat, or not high beat, but four hertz. Very cool watch. This was released back in 2017. And just a great everyday light watch, 10 millimeters thick, great movement, great quality build, and a good everyday watch to wear once in a while. Now let's take a look at the Lake & Sons Flieger. Here she is right in front of you. Kind of reminds me of like an L.L. Bean type style of watch, but it's pretty cool and very laid back. And kind of a watch that anybody can really wear any age and uh, in many different situations as well. The watch itself is 40 millimeters in diameter. It's 44 millimeters lug to lug, and it's only 12 millimeters thick. So you have really nice dimensions. Wears really nice on my wrist. My wrist is 6.5 inches. It's running the NH35 caliber produced by Seiko. We get hand winding hacking. We get about a 40 hour power reserve, 24 joules, and a quick set date over at the six o'clock position, which kind of looks like one of the numerals, kind of blends in, which I really like about that. We have your, getting a little closer on the dial here, we have your Lake & Sons logo, which is printed right below 12. Um, above that is a genuine sapphire flat crystal, so great for this price, sapphire crystal NH35. We have loomed, nice, broad, pilot-styled hands, the uh, reference triangle, which is classic on Flieger watches at the 12 o'clock position. And then we have loomed uh, rectangles going around the dial. Uh, which is pretty cool. I think it's a nice layout. Everything fits together. We have a 20 millimeter lug width, which is pretty standard for a 40 millimeter watch. The case itself is completely brushed, as you can see. We get a pull and push small onion styled crown, but we do get 100 meters of water resistance. Nice little polished uh, bevel here as well. We get 100 meters of water resistance. So you can take this thing in the water, which is really nice to see. And it's very legible with that flat uh, sapphire crystal. The finishing is pretty good, I'd say. Uh, for $130, I think the finishing is pretty good. Um, there are no rough edges or anything like that. Nice vertical brushing, very smooth to the touch. Now this is a limited edition. They produce 500 of these watches. Um, just to let you know that, your number is on the case back. So with this movement, the NH35, we can actually wind the watch. It's already running, as you can see, these seconds hand, uh, which reaches pretty much to the chaptering, which I do appreciate in white. Very nice there, very smooth winding, easy to grip the crown. Second position, we can quick set that date down at the six o'clock position. Then your final position, we can hack the watch and set the time here. Very legible watch, uh, Fliegers are meant to be extremely legible for flying. You wanna click, quickly glance at the uh, watch and you wanna know the time immediately. So definitely did a very good job on that. I wouldn't call it a classic Flieger layout. It's a classic Flieger layout, but they threw in their own little kind of design here. Which I think is something different, and that's always good to see. The watch does come on a very nice premium nylon NATO strap, uh, which is actually really nice, with a signed Lake & Sons buckle here. Uh, the stitching and everything, it's, it feels very good quality, almost like militaristic. It's actually really comfortable. It's tough, but it's actually very flexible. It's not like super thick like the seatbelt ones, uh, which I found nice. Um, but yeah, um, I, I couldn't really find anything wrong with the watch. You know, it's a very simple watch. Obviously, this is not going to be an extremely long review. Um, but let's get a loom shot. Let's throw it on my wrist and uh, let me give you my thoughts on this thing. So I went ahead and killed the lights here. As you can see, uh, there is some loom on this watch on the rectangles on the reference triangle. And the hand, the loom on the hands doesn't seem as strong. Um, but it's not as strong as the parts on the outer ring, as you can see. Uh, which is a bit of a letdown in my opinion, but you're only paying a hundred, you know, with the ten percent discount or so on the website, you're only paying like a hundred ten dollars. So for the money, I think it's okay. There she sits on my six point five inch wrist. Like I said, this strap is really comfortable. Now for me, NATOs usually aren't that very comfortable, but for some reason, this one's really comfortable. Definitely has a very kind of foresty kind of camping look to it. 
uh, like that LL Bean look, like I was stating, like when they made those Hamilton watches. Uh, very, very nice on the wrist, very nice fit. You can see those nice little colored pops on the uh, counterbalance on the sweeping white seconds hand, which I think is a nice little pop there. But very comfortable, perfect size, as you can see, fits right across my wrist. Um, very legible at all angles there, and I think it's a nice fit. So all in all, guys, I think, you know, for the money, this is a really, really great value. And I would definitely jump on this. They're a limited edition of 500 units. I mean, you're getting an NH35, a sapphire crystal. The case is very well built. There's no uh, shortcuts taken on producing this case. Um, it has a very nice dial. It's kind of like a slight glossy black, if you really look at it, with the sapphire. Very nice layout, a good design. The crown is proportionally sized to the case. You're getting a great band as well. I think it's a pretty good deal. I mean, uh, if you're into Flieger watches, pilot watches, or an everyday watch, uh, for 120 bucks, you really can't go wrong adding one of these to your collection. I definitely will drop a link to their uh, website down in the description below if you want to check them out after this video, of course. Definitely let me know what you think down in the comment section below, and I'll chat with you there. Throw me a like, subscribe to the channel. A lot of interesting stuff coming up on Watch Attic channel real soon, guys. I will see you on the next one. Bye.